All cars come with a mobile connector and an adapter for public charging stations. The mobile connector is nice and lightweight and allows you to plug into 120 or 240 volt power. This is a regular 120 volt plug. Not the fastest thing in the world, but very convenient because you'll find these all over the place. To swap adapters, just press the button right on top here, pull it apart, and then you can plug in the other adapter. Put the Tesla T right on top, slide it in place until it clicks, and then we'll plug it into the wall first to get charging. Now that we're plugged into the wall, all you need to do is press this button on top here, and it'll pop the charge port open. It'll light up white so you can see at night, and then you just plug in. It'll turn blue initially, and then it'll turn flashing green as it starts to charge. If it stays blue a little longer, it's probably heating or cooling the battery to prepare it for charging. The flashing green will actually flash faster when the state of charge is low, and as it fills up, it gradually slows down and then goes solid green. You can also see the charging status on the instrument panel when the car is unlocked. You'll see the voltage, the current level, the speed at which it's charging in miles, and the total miles available. If you lock the car and walk away from it, the green flashing light will eventually go away so it doesn't attract attention. If your car is equipped for supercharging, everything works the same as what I just showed you, whether you have single or twin chargers, and you don't need to bring any equipment with you. You just plug it right in, and you'll notice that it charges much, much faster. It charges very quickly for the first half of the battery, and then it'll gradually taper off as the battery starts to fill up. For this reason, you don't need to fill it up all the way with a supercharger. You can just charge very quickly for as much as you need to to get to the next supercharger or to your destination. There's no harm in stopping a charge midway or starting a charge midway. It's actually most practical to just plug the car in when you get home, let it charge while you're sleeping at night, and unplug it when you're ready to go in the morning. When you are ready to unplug it, all you need to do is press and hold this button here, pull out the connector, close the charge port, and you're ready to go. Since we have the charge port open though, let's take a look at public charging station adapters. Public charging stations typically have a plug just like this, and we include an adapter for Model S that plugs right on the end of it. All you need to do is slide this on the end, plug it directly into Model S like you would at home. It'll turn green just like normal, and when you're ready to go, press and hold this button like you would. That'll pop this out. Pull the whole thing out as one assembly, and then remove the adapter. The adapter locks to the charge port anytime the car is charging and locked. So if for some reason you need to remove the adapter on its own and it's locked to the car, just press the open charge port button to release it. That's all there is to it.